Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. Today is Tuesday, January 8th of 2019, and today I've been thinking a lot about the sustainability of our health behaviors. We're still close to the beginning of the new year, and for many people, they have the resolution of weight loss this year. And there are many different ways that weight loss can be achieved. Two of the big ways are through continuous calorie restriction, which is where you reduce the number of calories that you eat every day, or through intermittent calorie restriction, where you eat regularly for a subset of days, and then on certain days of the week, you drastically reduce the number of calories you consume. But a big question is, which of these methods is more effective? So in late 2018, there was a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that was addressing this exact question. Is continuous calorie restriction or intermittent calorie restriction more effective for weight loss? And in this study, they divided their study population into three groups. One group was randomized to continuous calorie restriction, where they had to reduce the number of calories they ate by 20% every single day. The second group was randomized to intermittent calorie restriction, where they ate unrestricted five days a week, and then two days a week, they severely, drastically reduced the number of calories they ate to only one quarter, so only 25% of their regular calories. And this is called the 5-2 diet, where you eat regularly five days a week and then drastically reduce two days a week, non-consecutive days a week. And then the third group was a control group, where they were recommended to eat a healthy diet, but they weren't given any specific caloric recommendations. And so each of these groups uh, followed their their recommendations for 12 weeks with regular diet uh, consultations and groups with dietitians. And then they continued to follow the diet on their own for 12 weeks. And then uh, 26 weeks after that, um, the, the researchers checked in to see you know, how much weight had they lost and whether or not they were able to maintain that weight loss after they weren't getting all of the, regular, all of the uh, instruction from the dietitians. And when they got to the end of the study, what they found was that both the group that had continuous calorie restriction as well as intermittent calorie restriction, they lost the same amount of weight. There was no difference at all. And so this is suggesting that there really isn't one way that's better than the other for weight loss. A big part of weight loss is whether or not you can adhere to the program. So the way that I view this information is that Whichever method is more sustainable for you, given your personality, your lifestyle, your preferences. This kind of idea of like, there's many ways to do things, whichever is more sustainable for you, has come up in some other studies about weight loss as well. There was another big study that was published earlier in 2018 that was comparing a healthy low carb diet versus a healthy low fat diet for weight loss and trying to see which one was better for weight loss. And when we got to the end of the year-long study with 600 people, it was really big, they found there was no difference at all. There was no difference in which was more effective, low carb or low fat. Again, this is really emphasizing that there are many different ways to achieve goals in health. In wellness, there are some non-negotiables that you have to do to be healthy. So you have to eat a nutrient-dense diet with diverse fruits and vegetables you have to get some kind of physical activity. And if weight loss is your goal, you have to have some way of achieving a calorie deficit. But then within those goals, there's many different ways to do things. There's no one singularly right way. So you have to find a way that is sustainable for you, given your personality, your preferences, and your lifestyle. If you're curious about the studies I cited today, check them out in the video description below. And thank you for watching Nourishable Raw. That's what science tastes like.